Uh, the predominantly black one we got in here is lot 21, 45-2 is the notch. That's a gilt out of rightfully so on the 56-4 never before daughter. Yeah, here uh, 56-4 never before would actually be uh, a full mate in blood uh, to the 81s. Um, so never before bred to one of breaking rules sisters. Uh, this sister actually uh, would be the um, – Mother of the Grand Barrow Houston in 22. Um, and actually, litter mate brother to the 56 would have been uh, third out hamp at OYE in 21. Um, better rightfully so, <coughs> honestly, uh, to try to make some females. Um, didn't get a very big litter. Uh, I think we may have kept one. Um, and then we're, we're, we're offering this one up. Um, no next intention in the pedigree. I think uh, offers, uh, you know, she'd be a great sow. Jim will talk about that. Uh, but biggest thing is uh, this one offers extreme breeding flexibility. Yeah, a little different pedigree to work with here, and we're always looking for a, you know, a killer outcross to try to use back on some of the stuff that's been lined up, and she would offer up some of those things in a different direction. Uh, that one there really looks athletic to me. I mean, she, her length, the front, that's a, that's a long ways from tip of her nose back to her shoulder blade, and, and extension is really good there. Her angles are excellent. Her reach and go is very good. Uh, elevation, immaturity, uh, uh, she's got muscle, but it's kind of put in, a, in her in that, that, uh, that immature type of fashion that you could feed right along with. Uh, uh, going to be a, a good, clean bone kind of a hog that has, uh, you know, getting that kind of femininity, uh, uh, a big hog kind of a look as far as uh, those hogs that can get to a heavy weight and have that right kind of growth pattern and still be able to mass up and get everything you need to see there. Neat kind of a color pattern on that off-belt gilt there. That's a 21 is the lot number, 45-2.